Have you ever wondered what a small habit might do to you if you keep doing it every single day? Like if I were to slouch every day, my back would probably be 90 degrees. If I were to eat McDonald's every day, no, no, no. I don't want to go there. So during 2019, at the peak of my CPA exam cramming time, I decided to walk a mile every single day. Nothing less, nothing more, just one mile every single day. Rain or fog or snow and sometimes shine every single day. And here's what happened. Hello and welcome to another one of my glow up journal. Unnecessary hand movements. No one probably or actually cares about this, but if you're wondering why I changed my outfit, it's because my SD card freaking broke and I had to refilm my intro. So here's my rant for the day. Thank you for listening. So back in October 2019, when I completed my very first CPA exam with three more ahead of me in that quarter, I realized that if I lock myself in a room to study for 16 hours a day while sitting, A, I'm going to die. B, my butt is gonna rot before I die. And C, my legs will be deformed. So to stay alive, stay healthy, ace all my CPA exams in one quarter, and to glow up, one of the few things I did was to walk. As simple or over simple as that, I decided to get some air and mild cardio through my daily one mile walk. A side note for anyone wanting to slim and tone your legs, surprise or not a surprise, the best way to slim your legs is to use your legs. Well, well no way. And to boost that impact, my personal secret weapon is adding resistance to the walk. No jokes, I literally became a staple attraction in the neighborhood. And the attention grabbing rate from walking around with a glamorous resistance band is 99.99%. The 0.01% is when I occasionally run into my family or walk with them. Like they already knew that the resistance band became a part of my legs. Fact. So here's how my 90 days of one mile walk went. Now at first, making time for the one mile walk wasn't the easiest. Having to squeeze 20 to 30 minutes out of the day all of a sudden for the walk was quite difficult. On top of that, I made my debut walking around the neighborhood in resistance bands and to be honest, I was a little embarrassed. But like, am I going to give up slimming my legs at the maximum efficiency possible just because some not cute strangers are going to look at me weirdly? They could stare all they want. They're probably thankful for the free entertainment anyways. So I'm actually doing an act of kindness. And thankfully, the October weather in Vancouver wasn't too, too bad. The next day. Two days later. No rain. Amazing. The next morning. Sunny day AA. What a struggle. The next morning. Next morning. Later that night. The 
following Thursday. Morning. Eventually. One month in and I had two CPA exams scheduled in November 2019. What a rough month. I had every excuse to forget about the walks, but this time I did not let myself down. Once something becomes more like a habit, it really does not take too much effort to do it. Was the weather bad in Vancouver in December? Yes. I mean, I really couldn't remember a day that it was actually good. But was that enough to stop me? <laughs> Absolutely not. You thought that was over? Zoe literally walked everywhere, like at a plaza in the middle of nowhere. At a farm. <coughs> right next to the Cartier store. At the airport. Ho, ho, ho. And of course, at home. Could I have listed a page full of reasons to not take this one mile walk every single day? Yes, I could have listed like three. But knowing that good things take time and that the benefits of exercising, even as simple as taking walks, take time to manifest. So 
I took this time and turned a small change into a healthy habit. Aside from toning and slimming my legs, walking a mile a day really helped me become physically stronger. I got sick less often and was able to power through four CPA exams in one quarter. Mentally, my walks became a time that I really enjoyed to just use to deeply think about and reflect on certain things. Like, should I or should I not start a YouTube channel? What kind of impacts or contributions do I want to make to society? Or should I eat my toes tomorrow morning with sesame butter or avocados? So deep. Or simply, I use this time to clear my head and think about nothing at all, which could be much needed at times. A lot of times we overcomplicate being healthy or glowing up as something grand or requires big instant results. But at the end of the day, the key is not what you're doing, but to start doing and persist doing that thing. Forget about all the excuses that have been pushing your next day plans to next year, to the next decade. Just start and see where it will take you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to tag along my glow up journey. And I'll see you next week. Bye! This is the end.